hi all and welcome to this video so in this video we would be uh, covering a very important topic in streamlit that is session state and to understand what session state is and how do we use it we would be taking help of this counter application which has a very simple function uh, whenever i click this button it should add one to it increment the count and display it so when i go back to my application and click on this button as you can see, even after clicking it multiple times, the counter is stuck at one. So what really happened? Why didn't the counter increase? So to understand what uh, happened here and why it is stuck, we need to understand how Streamlit works. So whenever we are clicking this button or a widget in Streamlit, what it does is it reruns the application from top to bottom, the script from top to bottom. And whenever this is being rerun, so this counter variable is being set to zero and once we click this button it is adding one and that is what it is displaying every time so how many ever times you uh, uh, click the button it would do the same thing initialize it to zero add a one and display it so to resolve this we would need a solution which is able to share this uh, counter variable between the reruns that it that it is doing so this is what exactly the session state does so in a very simple basic terms session state is a way to share variable values between the each rerun that happens and it is like a memory and this memory uh, it follows a syntax which is similar to our python dictionary so now we will uh, resolve our issue using the uh, session state so as i mentioned session state is like a memory and in the very first run it would be empty and as i mentioned uh, it is following a syntax similar to dictionary so initially the session state is empty so what we need to do is for our first run we need to initialize a value uh, in our dictionary uh, a key in our dictionary that would store the value for it so how do we do it so what we would do is we'd start with an if condition and say let's say our key is counter that we would be using is not in uh, our st dot session state what we would do is we would initialize a session state with counter and value would be zero so session state counter and we would initialize it with zero so now in our first one, what it would do is it would come here. It would see that session state is empty. It doesn't have a counter key. So what it would do is it would say counter and we would have a value of zero over here. So this is what it would do. Now coming to the count, what we need to do is we need to take the value from session state and we can use a dot convention as well along with this session state. So what it would do is it would go to session state and take this counter variable value for in a, for our initial run this would come to zero now it comes to our button when we click this button what would happen this count value would increment by one now we need to store that value in our uh, session state counter uh, key as well so what we can do over here is we would say st dot session state dot counter and we would equate it to count so now what it would do this session state would change to one after clicking the button and when this reruns it comes over here it sees that this counter value is already uh, present in our session state it would pick this value and now counter would be one and when we click the button again the counter would be uh, had incremented by one and this, this value would be stored in the counter so this is how it should work and we will just verify this so you see every time i click this counter value is increasing over here so this is how our session state will help us to share variables between the runs so this was one of the way how we could have done it another way was using the uh, argument of on click or on change so that is basically using the callbacks so how does a callback work uh, so 
that would be let's say we have a button again we would just say add one and for a button we have on click and we would uh, equate to a function let's say we have a function created which is add one so on click would what it would do it would tell streamlit that you need to execute this function whenever this button is being clicked now let's just create this function so it's a definition add one and what it would do is it would go to st.session state and dot counter and it would do plus one to it so i'll remove this and this should be fine yes now when i go back and run it you see this is working as expected so this was another way how we could have executed it. So some of the things that we need to take care while uh, using session state is that this is defined for a particular session. Now session is defined as this tab which is open in our browser. So let's say if we had another uh, tab open for another streamlit app, those two would have a different sessions for each other. We wouldn't be able to communicate the uh, variables between those two application. So that is something you need to take care of. Another thing is uh, as soon as you do a refresh, this memory would be cleared and you'll lose all the information from this. Again, like uh, if your application crashes or anything that happens, again, your memory would be cleared and you won't be able to store it. So that is pretty much it on session state you can refer to the um, documentation mentioned by streamlit on their app i have taken an example from their uh, document documentation itself it's a very uh, uh, helpful documentation and would allow you to understand each and everything so if you found this video helpful please do like the video and subscribe to the channel as well i'll see you in another video thank you